What's up guys, this is Mighty Mork back with yet another video. <clears throat> and this game was a very interesting, fun game for us. It starts off really rough, but uh, we kind of use the objective against the opponent on this map. It's risky, but we go ahead and go for it. I mean, talking about our draft real quick, nothing too crazy. Haunted Mines, Sylvanas is ridiculously strong on Haunted Mines. If you can get Sylvanas on Haunted Mines, it's always a good idea. Nubarak again, also strong. He's just a really strong tank right now. There's um, there's really no reason not to take him, in my opinion, if you can take a Nubarak right now. Zagara, really good for our comp. She helps push quite a bit, and also her vision is really good on small maps like this. It's good on all maps, but especially on small maps like this where the opponent can quickly switch lanes. It's very nice to have her creep. Uh, you can place her creep here, here, spots like that. And then in addition with the Watchtower, you will have a very nice amount of vision. Uh, Tychus, just for the damage, and the Odin, and then Uther, because Uther's awesome. Who doesn't like Uther, right? And their draft was pretty good as well. They picked up Kerrigan Jaina, which is a scary combo. I mean, look at the damage they have. They have such a high amount of damage with their three DPS. They went all backline except for Kerrigan. And Arthas, which is also really strong. Arthas can combo off of Kerrigan's combo. And whoever gets caught by that, followed up by Jaina and Vala, is probably dead. So let's go ahead and get the replay started. See how this game goes. So we do have Sylvanas, so they do have to match our push. If they try to push their Golem lane, we will outpush them with Sylvanas. Let me see, am I zoomed out super far? Why does it seem so far right now? Like a way to not zoom out that far. Oh, that's even farther. Wow, okay. We'll leave it there then. So yeah, we have four bottom and one top because that's our golem lane. And they have to match it, as you can see here. They know that we're going for a push because we have Sylvanas, Zagara. It's pretty obvious we're going to try to push this lane. And as you can see here, this game does not start out great for us. You'll see why here in a second. They set up up here and we go ahead and go for this bottom tower here and they rotate down on us we stayed way too long as soon as they were all missing we should have backed up we try to get out this was really bad i'm gonna pause already with the amount of cc they have i mean it was scary going this way but this would have been the higher chance of living with the amount of cc they have between Kerrigan and arthas and Jaina with her slows if you go in here, like they have so much AoE CC, like as you can see, you're not getting out of there if they get on you. So let's go ahead and go forward. I get pulled in as well. Really unfortunate. Um, so three of us are in just an uh, AoE CC mess right now. High damage on them. And we just all go down. So that is three kills for them. <laughs> 35 seconds into the game. Not the best start to a game at all. So they uh, pretty much wipe us out. No sir here, overextended. There's, there's, I'm gonna pause again just to talk here quickly. There's no reason for him to be up this far. We're all dead. He cannot do anything. He's, there, I mean, he's not gonna one be, one before them. He just needed to make sure he didn't miss any experience, which he wasn't because no, no minions were dying. They cleared the wave too fast. So there was no reason for him to be up that far. So they pick up their fourth kill and we're not even at a minute yet. <laughs> Sometimes you just have those games, man. So we go back in on them. We try to do what we can here as far as damage goes, but they disengage right away. Hit us with the root, and there's not much more we can do there. We have to let them go. Tychus is against Volatop. Not really much going on there. They're both just going to soak their lanes. Kind of going to be a stagnant lane. <clears throat> Pushing bottom still. I mean, they're not that far ahead in experience which is part you know that's part of this game kills early kills don't really matter that much what matters is, is getting a kill and using it for an advantage so yeah there it's four to zero kills they're gonna hit level three quite a bit before us which it's it is a big advantage right now since mines are starting we need to try to be even level with them going into the mines it's not a big deal because they're not a talent tier ahead but it's still nice to be even with your opponent going into the mines. So we rotate top because we feel like we're not going to be able to stop them from entering the mines. And we don't want to fight them before going in with the combo they have. 
So we just rotate top to go into the mines through top. And here we split. We shouldn't have split here looking at it. Let's see now. I'm kind of separated from my team. I'm trying to posture over here because I know their damage is still coming up. Looking at it, that's a mistake. But let's see how it plays out. Because I'm kind of not protecting my backline right now. I mean, I can easily burrow back there. But it's still kind of a weird position to be in. We... We shouldn't be split like this. I mean, it's not terrible because of the AOE CC they have. Like, if we all bunched up here, it'd be really easy for Kerrigan, um, Jaina, and Arthas to combo us. But it's still kind of dangerous to split like this. Let's see what happens. I might get blown up here. So I go in on them. I stun uh, Kerrigan and Valen. Not bad. Let's see if we can get the follow-up needed. So we get rooted. Arthas is in front. Kerrigan jumps on the back line. She disengages. We've got her kind of in a corner here. I'm trying to keep her CC'd. We have their entire team pushed into a corner now. Let's let it play out. Their tank goes down. We're still chasing them. We should... Yeah, we need to... This is kind of dangerous for us. We have two really high DPS right here. And Kerrigan and Brightwing in the middle of us. So if we turn on Kerrigan and Brightwing... They're just getting free damage on us, so let's see what happens. Noser's going to go down. That's okay, though. Our, our Uther, sorry. He can still heal us. We're going to try to get Brightwing down here. We get Brightwing down here. Kerrigan should go down next. And we clean up pretty well there. So that fight went better for us. It's now 4 to 5 kills. Very even experience. So we, did, we were um, able to catch back up. Insane is really, really low. We're trying to get as many skulls as we can before they come back in. They are making their way back in. Arthas is coming in bottom right now. And let's see what happens here. So I see Arthas coming. I just leave. I'm too low to fight him. I have barely any health and barely any mana. We have the stronger golem already. We have 51. I mean, we can leave right now. But I do pick up what I can here. They are trying to chase me down. I do uh, consciously make this de decision to take this camp and die for it. Like I said... This early in the game, the respawn timers don't really matter. By the time they finish this big golem, I'll be respawned already. So I just I just told my team I'm going to take this camp and die for it real quick. And as you can see, I mean, I'm dead for 13 seconds. So I picked up some more, or some more skulls for us and died. But I'll be up before it really matters. So that was a uh, decision that I made on purpose there. Brightwing is still here, just soaking in lane, so we're making sure to match her soak so we don't fall behind there. And we do take their siege while they're dealing with the big golem in the mines. So we have a slightly bigger golem for the first one, 59 to 41. Not bad for us there, considering how the game started. Did not start off great. Let's see, they're going to go ahead and push with their golem. It looks like, yep, they're going to go ahead and push with their golem. And we're going to take our siege real quick. Or we're going to kill our siege. We shouldn't cap it yet. Let me see if we do or not. Yeah, so we take our siege and we hold on to it to use it to help defend against their golem. They do change their mind and decide to go mid. Nope, they're going to go bottom to defend since we do have the bigger golem and we have Sylvanas. They have really no choice but to head down here and defend because we will outpush them. Kerrigan goes in for a combo. No, sir. Very nice dodge there. I go in from behind. Not the greatest idea with the amount of damage they have, but let's see if I get away here. Kerrigan did use her combo, but look how much damage I'm taking right here. I'm already at half health and, and I've been there for like a second. I'm probably going to die here. So yeah, that was not the best idea. They just have too much damage for me to go in from behind like that with their whole team there. I mean, I did let my team get a lot of damage on them. So as a tank, I kind of did my job, but it would obviously have been better if I had not died there. They do get Jaina separated here, but they're not quite able to finish her off. They are helping the golem push though, but their golem's not really doing much up here. We have Zagara defending against it solo. This right here, really dangerous position for our team to be in. Yeah, our golem is here, but they can really, with the amount of CC they have, they can just have Kerrigan engage past it, and if she combos someone, they're dead. So let's see if they do that. So yeah, you see Kerrigan move up? Yeah, exactly. She takes the chance, tries to get insane. He dodges it, not bad there. But uh, Tychus gets cleansed out of the root there. 
Very nice. I go back in. We might get Kerrigan down here. Nope, she gets away with one hit as well. We're just not able to finish people off this game. So we turn it. We decide to go mid real quick, try to clear the bruisers. Let's see what happens. They probably know that we are going for bruisers. So we are set up for bruisers. They're going to take their vision. We're hanging out right here because we know they're going to come. Getting what damage we can on Arthas to make it harder for them to engage. They can't really engage on us if their tank is low. And we're all at full health. So that gives us the chance to get these bruisers for free because they have to heal up now. So see, when you're in a fight, you don't always have to kill someone or win that fight. Just by getting them low, it gave us the advantage we wanted. The whole point of that fight, I'm going to pause to talk. The whole point of that fight was to get these bruisers. So as soon as we got them low enough and they disengaged, we didn't chase them any further because this was our objective. Our objective was not to get kills. Our objective was to push them off bruisers and keep them from being able to take bruisers um, and engage on us because they're just too low. Just something to keep in mind. Um, a lot of people always go for kills. You you don't need to always go for kills in this game. Kerrigan hits a nice combo there. Arthas is moving in around us, hits a root on Tychus, and again cleansed out of it. This is another reason why we took the Uther pick with the amount of CC they have because of cleanse and divine shield. Those are two really good counters to a CC heavy team. Looks like we're pinging to rotate bottom while they're all top. Let's see if we can get this fort in time, though. Because, of, I mean, you know, this map is ridiculously small. I mean, you don't really have much time to do anything. But it looks like they're still hanging out top. Alright, and we are going to get this fort down, I think. They are rotating down, though. And let's see. They're trying to cut us off. Oh yeah, I remember this. I misplay here, and you'll see why here in a second. Well, it was a misplay and a communication uh, failure, I believe, in my opinion. I didn't know that, or I didn't think about the fact that Uther's uh, cleanse was on cooldown. So right here, they go in on Zagara. He cleanses her. Really nice play by him. But I go in to try to help her out because I think she's going to get... She's going to get hit by the combo. And I'll, honestly, even looking at it now, it is 4v4 down here. Is it? 1, 2, 3. No, it's it's 4v5 in their favor. So going in here is still a mistake on my part. I should have just let her die if she even got hit by the combo. I mean, I miss anyway, and now I'm just in a terrible spot. So they turn on me, and that's pretty much... I just gave them a free kill there. So... No sir played that well. He cleansed it immediately. He saw the combo coming, but then I messed it up by being bad at this game. And we still have Tychus hanging out, soaking top. Uh, mines are opening. Uh, neither team is level 10, which is good. If you if your opponent hits level 10 and you're not close, you are probably gonna lose that mines unless you do something amazing or they make a huge mistake. So right now, we, we're not really in a position to contest. They can clean up the all the camps pretty much. I died at a really, really bad time. They're about to hit level 10. We're not that close. We ping down to get this fort down and to take this fort. They're in the mines right now, so we go for both forts. Um, smart play. I mean, we get two forts out of them being in the mines, but look at the golem difference. It's 70 to 0 right now. So that's not a good position for us. So we get the fort, they come out, we have to run because it's all five of them coming for us. We just have to split up and run and whoever gets caught gets caught at this point. But I do try to go back and help. Not a good idea. Oh, very nice cleanse again by Uther, but it's not enough. He uses Divine Shield to get out. Very nice Maw there, but are we going to be able to do anything with it? Let's see. So we go in for the fight after hitting the Maw. I'm on their back line, they're on my back line, so I turn around to try to get Kerrigan off the back line. It looks like Tychus is gonna go down here. Maybe these two, we should have turned right here. Look how low Arthas and Vala are. Arthas should go down, Arthas goes down, does Vala? Yeah, we should have, if we had turned there, man, we could have really cleaned up this fight. But it looks like we don't turn. I try to get out, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it out of here. So again, not a great fight for us. This game is not going that great. We did get two forts while they were in the mines, so that's not terrible. What's the plan? But they have a huge golem advantage. And this is where we decide, hey, 
if we go in the mines right now and finish up this golem, we are giving them a huge advantage. Like, their golem, our golem is going to go down to just their defenses. They're just going to be able to five-man push with their golem. So we're not going to go in the mines. We're going to play this out and make them go in the mines for it. And as soon as they try to go for it, we're going to try to push as hard as we can with Sylvanas. So that is our plan now. It's risky because if they get in the mines, they do get 100 golem. And they can end the game with 100 golem, especially with us dragging out the timer even longer. And them getting more talents and becoming more powerful. So we're just going for it. We do have a plan for later on. And you will see what that plan is. <clears throat> But for now, let's see how this team fight goes. It looks like they're going to engage on us. The Syndragosa goes out. Let's see who gets hit by it. Looks like maybe just Uther, but now this is such bad positioning. Look how poor our team's positioning is here, man. Like, what is going on right now? Our healer is not anywhere near the team. If he comes near the team now, he's going to get jumped. Our two squishies, our three squishies are just all separated behind the team i go on kerrigan to try to keep her off she turns around doesn't get hit look at this my my two squishies back here have no defenses it's so hard as a tank to protect your back line when there's two here and one here like it's just so tough so vala alts looks like zagara is gonna go down zagara goes down and it looks like we're going to cut our losses and just try to run here. Really all we can do. Terrible, terrible, terrible positioning on our part. And honestly, we should just give this up if they push for it. Whatever they push for, we should just give up at this point. They have all five and all of them are at full health. It looks like they're going to go for mid. They're going to get the mid camp again. Like like I said, nothing we can do about it. We do have Zagara up now, but she's still getting back to the fight. So they grab mid. We have to deal with that quickly. Looks like they're going to grab this camp as well here. Really not much we can do about it. The XP um, is pretty close still. Not a huge difference. And I did forget to go over talents when we hit level 10. But I'll just go over all the talents we have at level 13. I mean, you can see them down there if you recognize the icons, but I will go through them once once we end up hitting level 13. So Zagara's back here soloing our siege camp. She really excels at that because of all the Zerg uh, minions she can spawn. And they are going to push bottom. They do have a talent over us, so this is dangerous position for us to be in. I get pulled in. The Syndragosa goes down, so our fort is useless. Uh, yeah, Syndragosa is also really, really strong on this map. I mean, look at this. We have no defense here now. They have a talent over us. We're pretty much just trying not to die here. We do manage to push them off, though, without losing the fort, so that's not too bad, but it is out of ammo for the time being. Or no, that was just the Syndragosa. Okay. Top, we have this our siege camp pushing. I have to be to get healthy after that. And they're just going to keep pushing bottom. They're not going to give up. She goes in. Very nice, very nice. They dodge all of that. But, I mean, there's just too much damage. So Uther doing a very good job of keeping our squishies alive while I'm not there. We hit a one-man maw there. Arrow goes down. Three of them are silenced. Their tank comes out. We need to just, again, disengage here. Our team fights this game. We're just really sloppy. We both get pulled. And that... Jaina damage on top of it is just so so strong not much we can do there Tychus is probably he should get out of here they're all pretty low he's sticking around though I mean they're all pretty low it is tempting but I think it's smarter to just cut your losses here I mean they still have the Kerrigan Jaina combo with Arthas for the CC if you get caught by that even with how low they are you're not gonna be able to finish off and here I think they messed up the enemy team right here when they killed three of us they should have gone down in the mines and finished this off yeah they were low but i mean we couldn't really contest it so that was their chance to get in the mines and finish it up like i said we aren't going to finish that golem we're going to give them a hundred golem whenever they decide to go for it we're just dragging this out as long as possible and making them go in the mines to get it so we're hanging out mid it looks like they're trying to maybe sneak into the mines top so we're trying to see what they're doing. They're going to just push here. See, the reason they're scared to go into the mines is because we do have Sylvanas. We can easily take a keep when they go in the mines. But I do think they misplayed. I mean, 
we might take a keep when they're in the mines but honestly they can clear that big golem really really quickly so here we engage on them this is looking like a pretty good fight for us they're all stuck in a corner very nice arrow goes out that should hit their whole team almost so yeah hits their whole team unfortunately not before the syndragosa goes out but it looks like it's only going to hit sylvanas burrow in on their back line hit bala arthas is in our back line but i'm not really worried about it all their damage is right here on me What's Kerrigan doing here? She's trying to go around looking for a pick. Divine Shield goes down on me. The Maw goes down on Arthas. Vala is ulting. Jaina goes down, so that's good for us. Vala goes down. They're too high damage. Are down. Then Kerrigan. So this is a good fight for us. Arthas goes down. We do lose Zagara, and it's just Brightwing left. Let's see if we can finish off Brightwing here. He ice blocks. That's kind of a mistake. I mean, I would have took my chances just running, ice blocking. There's no way you're going to get out of there. So we do um, clean up their team. But like I said, we are not going for that golem. We don't care about that golem. They can get that golem whenever they decide to get that golem. So we go back. We rush past this. We're going to try to down this. Let's see if we get it down in time. I think we will be able to down this keep in time, which gives us a big, big advantage. Because now they still have to go in the mines if they want their golem. But they're now down a keep as well putting a lot of pressure on their lanes or on their top lane at least so that was really really good for us that really gave us a fighting chance in this game to, and now they still have to make that decision of if they want to go down in the mines to try to finish that golem up because we're just going to let it sit until they do and it looks like here nope they're still just pushing top again like i said huge mistake i don't really understand why they did this um they could have right here like they could have gone in the mines right now and finished up that golem. Are they going to do so? Doesn't look like it. I just really don't understand. I mean, they see... They should... I, I feel like they should have recognized the strategy we were going for. We're just not going to finish that golem. We're not going to give them this golem. All right, we're both 16. I've been rambling so much, I've completely forgotten talent. So let's go through the talents real quick. Block on Arthas. Um... I guess, I mean, we have Tychus, Zagara, yeah, it's not bad. Destruction, Rune Tap, Syndragosa, really strong on this map because it, it freezes all your towers, your, your keep and everything. Spell Shield, kind of interesting. We don't really have that much spell damage. Um, I'm trying to think what else, what else Arthas can take here or if Spell Shield is just the strongest choice. I, don't, I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's interesting. If he has another viable talent there, I don't know if Spell Shield was the greatest choice there. And Immortal Coil. Arcane Precision on Brightwing, again, pretty interesting. I don't ever really see anybody take this talent. It's not really that good. Um, I mean, you have Bribe and Scouting Drone there as well. Either of those would have been a lot better than that in my opinion. Uh, but that is just my opinion. Maybe that works out for him. Promote, pretty good on this map. Gust of Healing, Blink Heal, Ice Block, and Critterize. So the rest of the build is really, really strong. Um, but I don't agree with that. But that, again, is just my opinion. Uh, Vala, multi-shot there. Searing Attacks, yep. Strafe, multi more multi-shot, yep. Blood for Blood, pretty standard Vala build right there. Uh, Deep Chill, Venom, Frostbitten, Water Ellie, Sprint, Numbing Blast. Pretty standard Jaina build. And that's interesting. Pretty standard Kerrigan build for the most part. I just went a uh, pretty standard uh, new build. Beetles are really strong now that they fixed them. Uh, pr nothing crazy there. Infest really strong on this map. Nothing crazy there. Yep. And pretty standard stuff on Uther as well. Um, Uther is a really interesting uh, support. Look at the amount of utility he has with this build. Protective Shield, Cleanse, Divine Shield, Shrink Ray, and Benediction. That is a lot of active skills and also a lot of utility. Uther is a really strong support for this reason. Um... Yep, pretty standard stuff. I did go Locust this game. I didn't feel like I needed to go Web Wrap to counter anybody on their team. So I did go Locust for the extra sustain. But let's go ahead and resume the match. And still, we're just keeping that golem in there. We're not going to cap it here. We should have just given this up. They have too much CC. 
for us to go in on them at a small space like this. So look, look at, look at how grouped my team is right now. This is just terrible. You cannot do this against Kerrigan, Jaina, Arthas, and Vala. I mean, the Kerrigan combo goes down on me, luckily for the time being, but almost everyone on the team gets hit by Syndragosa. I'm really low already. Sylvanas was just way too far up here. I don't really know what she's doing here, honestly. Uh, yeah, that's just really bad positioning. Uh, yeah, the Maw goes down, hits two of them, not terrible. Right here, we should have just left. I'm not sure why we're still hanging out. I'm trying to, to get them off my team just with uh, Locust Swarm damage and just whatever CC I can drop, but it's not, it's not looking good. I try to stun them. Again, like I said, we're just poking them, trying to kite them. But we should have cut our losses a lot earlier there. Let's see if... If Tychus gets out... Oh, man. Oh, wow. That was kind of ridiculous, honestly. Um, I feel like he, should, he was out of that uh, grasp. But he does get hit by it and goes down. So not that great. Three of us die here. And they're pushing out our keep. I'm just poking. But I, I feel like, hopefully... Once they break through this, if they continue pushing, we just give it up. It looks like they're going to go back. This would be the perfect time for them to finish the golem. So let's see if they're going to do so. We're going, we're following them because we know they're trying to go in the mines. We were going to harass them, but there's not much we can do. So yeah, finally, they're going to go in and clear this golem. They should have done this much, much earlier in my opinion, but they are finally going to go in and clear it. We can't really do anything about it. We're just clearing our lanes, waiting for them to finish it at this point, basically because Zagara, we did not have Zagara, and Brightwing is here, but she can just instantly teleport in as soon as we engage. So 100 Golem for us, not looking good. We're down to our keeps, 100 Golem this late is uh, pretty much GG, but we do have a plan, the plan that I talked about earlier, so let's see what we do here. We know that they're gonna five-man push with this Golem. We, I mean, there's no other play here. So we get set up here, we're going to wait for them to come up here. We know they're going to come up here and set up and, and try to push with the golem as hard as possible. So as soon as we see them, he checks the bush. As soon as we see them, we engage on them. We know we need to kill them before they can they have a chance to push with this golem. If we wait until they're here and they're set up pushing with their golem, we lost. There's no way we can beat 100 golems. So we engage on them. Really nice arrow there. Ma gets Kerrigan. Um, Syndragosa goes down, hits quite a few of us, Divine Shield goes down. We're trying to get down Arthas real quick so we can just focus on their backline. Kerrigan's comes out of the Maw. I get Pollied. Let's see what's going on. Noser's pretty low. Insane's in a pretty good position here. He can poke from there pretty easily. I'm backing up, backing up. We turn around, Kerrigan goes on our backline. We all focus Kerrigan down real quick before she can get her alt off. Um, Sylvanas goes down, but we're gonna finish them off here. Trying to chase down Brightwing, but we really don't care about killing them. Brightwing and Jaina are alive. I mean, they can poke us, but we are going to go for the win here. Again, another ice block. I don't really understand it. <laughs> but we just completely ignore him. We don't care. I mean, he put some damage on him, but we're just here for the win now. So their golem is pushing. We have a zero golem. We completely ignored the objective on this map. We knew that if we got the objective, we were giving them the advantage. So we completely ignored the objective and just played our way around it. So it was a really rough game for us. Our team fights weren't that great. We got caught out a lot. Our positioning was poor. But we did come up with a plan quickly. It ended up working out. It was a really risky plan. We could have very easily lost, purposely giving them 100 golem. But it worked out. It was a fun game. And we definitely learned a lot from this game. So that'll do it for another replay analysis video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and give me a like. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe. If you don't want to miss out on anything, if you didn't like it, that's fine. Go ahead and dislike the video. Just let me know why so I can work on that in the future. Thanks, guys.